To keep yourself updated, subscribe to Indigo Learn and click the bell icon. I will write debit, credit, okay, all the scenarios that are what we just now discussed. Asset increased, asset decreased, okay. Then capital and liabilities decreased, capital and liabilities increased, then expenses and losses increase expenses and losses decreased incomes and gains decrease incomes and gains increase okay right chartered accountants if you get this logic you are set for accounting you take any transaction in the world any transaction in the world you know what it should be a match the following here what match the following this and this or this and this or this and this or this and this one okay then this and this or this and this or this and this or this and this then this and this this and this this and this this and this then the last one this and this this and this this and this this and this what is the moral of the story? You have four items on the debit, possible items on debit side or uh, items which can probably have a debit impact and four items which can possibly have a credit impact. Every journal entry is a pair of one item on the debit side and one item on the credit side. That's all. Over. Every journal entry, every transaction, journal entry means what? Basically, every transaction which we write in accounting language is called journal entry. I'm repeating, a transaction which we write in accounting language is called journal entry. Every such journal entry which basically means a transaction written in accounting language is a pair of one item on the debit side, these four, one of the four and one from the credit side. If you bring one each together, that is a journal entry. That's all. Now, you take any example, your whole life of accounting, it will not go outside of this. That, that much I can tell you for sure. There are times when I had to discuss this logic even for students in CA final because this core logic sometimes that went missing and in CA final I had to tell them, Are, why are you getting confused about journal entries? This is all you have to do and then they understood, Achha, I wish we learned in CA foundation. The advantage for you is you are learning it at the beginning of your professional journey and you will find the good benefits of this at every step. Right, now, so friends come back. There are four items on asset side. Asset increased and correspondingly something happened. Or so basically like one each, so basically you saw how many possibilities? 16 possibilities, that's all. So for each one, there are four others. So basically there are 16 probable categories of journal entries. We don't even have to by heart any of those. What we should do is understand the logic. You should understand the logic and think of, hey, what is the debit side impact for it? One of the four only, that's all. What is the credit side impact for it? One of the four only. So you have to just think of what is the debit side impact and what is the credit side impact for these items. Now friends, let us take a few examples. And in these transactions, how do we write those transactions in accounting language? Let us understand that, okay? Right, examples which we already spoke about. Capital. 
of rupees one lakh brought in cash. Okay, that is the transaction. Capital of one lakh brought in cash. What is the impact on debit side? What is the impact on credit side? That's all we should identify. Come on, let us highlight that. Capital brought in the form of cash, debit side. What, what exactly is happening? Cash is coming in, no? One lakh of cash is coming in. So, is asset increasing? Yes, asset is increasing. Then, correspondingly what is happening? Is asset decreasing? No, oh, it's not asset decreasing. Is capital or liability increasing? Ah, capital or liability is increasing. So, it is this one. Understood? Capital or liability is increasing. So, it is basically this one. So, asset is increasing, capital or liability is increasing. That is the transaction what we have just now understood. Right? Now, let us slightly change this. It is loan of rupees 4 lakhs loan of rupees 4 lakhs brought in cash what will happen asset cash is increasing by 4 lakhs and correspondingly what will happen is asset decreasing no it's not asset decreasing then is capital or and liability is it increasing yes loan which is a liability liability is increasing by 4 lakhs that's all so in this match the following what we have the earlier to whatever we highlighted the same ones hold good even for this transaction. Now, let us take the next one. 1 lakh of cash brought in for in the form of capital, that is owner's capital. 4 lakhs of bank loan is brought in. So, totally 5 lakhs is sitting in the bank balance. Okay, at this point, 5 lakhs is sitting in the bank balance. Now, that 5 lakhs, whatever we have in our bank balance, we issued or we paid and purchased a car. So, I am writing car worth. 5 lakhs bought cash paid cash paid now think about it car worth 5 lakhs bought so if 5 lakhs of car is bought is asset increasing an asset called car is increasing yes highlight this debit what debit that's a debit that item of asset increasing very clear now correspondingly what should happen on credit side basically is any other asset going out yes or no yes what is the asset going out cash is the asset which is going out so this asset is going out that's all so debit impact car asset purchased credit impact cash asset which went out that is the credit side impact see how beautiful accounting could be where is the need to buy heart? People buy heart rules. Debit what comes in. Credit what goes out. Hare, understand the logic. Then you don't have to buy heart. It becomes as natural to you as you breathing in and breathing out air. Do you need to really remember this? You will do it automatically. The same way, if you get this core concept of accounting, you will do accounting quite naturally. You don't have to buy heart accounting entries. I feel very bad and sad for students who say that, sir, sir, I forgot journal entry in the class. And where is the question of forgetting journal entry in the class? You have to, th or in the exam, you have to think of the logic. If you think of the logic, automatically every journal entry is just in this. In the small table what you have in front of you, every journal entry in the world is sitting in this table. That's all. So, even if you are working in corporate somewhere, sometimes some four, four, five, six years from now, even then, the journal entries will not go out of this. Reliance, Microsoft, Google, Apple, wherever you are working, journal entries are just here. Okay? Right. Now, let us move on to the next example. We spent 20,000 rupees towards rent expenditure for office. Let us write that. 20,000 paid for office rent for office rent that is a story 20,000 paid 20,000 paid means cash is going out cash is an asset cash is going out asset is going out credit side we got see it is not necessary that you have to start from debit side and then go to credit side if one side is clear how do you figure out which side is clear cash has gone out 
cash has gone out means asset has to be credited so asset is being credited credit impact we know now we need to think of only the debit side chartered accounts now i told you a very important point in a journal entry it is not necessary that you have to first think of the debit side then come to credit side who said not required the one which is easier first think of that and just fix it then you can think of the other one so in our example 20000 paid 20000 paid means 20000 of cash has gone out so 20000 of cash has gone out means uh, asset is reduced asset deduction means it is credit side so credit impact you know then what about the debit impact debit impact ha huh, come on search asset increased we paid off his rent with that will an asset increase well it is a rent expenditure for this period it is not a benefit for future it is a charge for the current period it is not a benefit for future when will you say asset increased car purchased car will give me benefit even in the future ah then i will say asset increased but this is not an asset which will give benefit in the future this is only for this period next month again i should pay it is like our initial example that i told you 2000 rupees of uh, expenditure towards food you have to pay for canteen yeah next month ha huh, next month also you should pay month after that ah month after that also you have to pay as long as you are continuing this you have to pay that so basically that is a monthly expenditure no so it's basically expenditure only for that period so expenditure which is for that period you can't call it as an asset that is one point fine then capital or liability when i pay office rent will capital go down is it paying uh, cap is, is it repaying capital or is it repaying loan no 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 it is not repaying loan expenses or losses increase hey my expenditure that is my expenditure rent office rent is an expenditure no acha understood this category we are bringing it to office rent is basically an expenditure to run the office so that is increasing correspondingly asset is decreasing done this is your journal entry okay so if you get this logic writing in journal entry is very simple okay right now let us move to another example now look at another example rupees 2 lakhs repaid as bank loan rupees 2 lakhs repaid as bank loan now what happened 2 lakhs went out 2 lakhs went out means what an asset is going out right very clear asset is going out asset going out means credit so now you know the credit side impact but loan loan what is happening to loan 2 lakhs is repaid as bank loan means whatever we had to pay out of the 2 lakhs we paid so that amount of loan will come down loan will come down loan is a liability loan is a liability liability is coming down loan is a liability right so i am liable to pay i am liable for paying that money to somebody that loan is coming down loan is coming down means liability is coming down search what is the item liability ah found it capital and liabilities have come down so this is the journal entry what you are going to make so debit side what capital or liability coming down you will write credit side what asset going down you will write okay right let us take another example rupees 10000 gift received rupees 10000 gift received very good who will deny gifts so we received 10000 of gift now let us think about it rupees 10000 gift received okay let us also add in cash okay we received 10000 rupees of gift in cash what is the entry cash is coming in cash is coming in acha this one so asset is increasing cash is coming in means asset is increasing so cash came in cash balance increased so asset is increasing correspondingly what is asset going down no asset is not going down we got gift then is capital or liability increasing now think about it i am the owner i am i am the owner did i put money into business no did i take loan from somebody and put that into business no so it is not capital or liability then expenses or losses reduced if i receive gift do i say my expenses came down no loss came down no that's not the one look at the last one incomes and gains increased is it a gain or not it is a gain so it is a gain which i got acha now i understood the general entry here the credit impact is incomes or gains increased 
that's all so see how simple how super simple accounting is you just have to see hey what is happening on debit side what is happening on credit side this question you will never stop asking in life irrespective of where you are you might be in an amazing position working in a company or you might be doing your practice you might be starting a company whatever it be when you are talking about your accounting you will always think of what is the debit side impact and what is the credit side impact debit side only these four credit side only these four that's all you don't have any items other than these every transaction in the world will fall into this beautiful framework okay right let us take the next example we had our car worth 5 lakhs right suddenly somebody stole it it is lost our asset worth 5 lakhs is lost or in our example where our parents sent us money we had 1000 rupees of cash balance after purchasing mobile and all those things that is lost what if cash is lost see all possible scenario what if it is lost now the moment you say you lost it basically let us just write that cash lost 1000 rupees worth cash is lost how do you deal with that is there a place for such things also in our journal entries ha huh? everything i said everything which has financial impact you see here everything which is uh, relating to money matters you see here now friends 1000 rupees gone 1000 rupees gone means asset of 1000 rupees is gone asset has to decrease there is no doubt about it asset 1000 rupees worth asset gone now that asset is gone credit side i know what happened debit side what would have happened is another asset coming in cash went out car came is that the case no cash went out some other asset came no then cash went out bank loan got repaid is that the case no that's not the case so it's not even capital or liabilities coming down then cash went out expenses or losses increased what happened we lost 1000 rupees gone loss so this is the one expenses or losses increased so basically loss increased more particularly loss increased by 1000 so friends just think about it everything in the world you will bring under this framework which is to do with accounting entries it will come into this framework i want you to master this framework understand exactly what we spoke about very simple logic balance sheet p and l what items we have in balance sheet what items we have in p and l then uh, yeah, similarly uh, for balance sheet in p and l we are talking about only two words debit credit increase in asset is debit decrease in asset is credit now you may ask me sir why is it not ulta see i just want to give names this is one category that is one category increase in asset we gave a category called ha debit category ha ye kar do bhai ye kar do blue color de do blue color de do this category ha green color de do so we just gave two colors two names that's all so there is nothing like why is this called debit why is your name uh, whatever it your name is somebody named you like that that is why it is like that same way we gave a name for these items these items as debits okay we gave a name for these items as credit okay right and what we will now do what we have understood is every journal entry is a combination of debit and credit you have to first pick up the one which is easy maybe it is on debit side or credit side so you have to just identify the one which is easy and then think of the corresponding one if you got something on debit side you will think ha debit side to pata uh, clear hai ki exactly wo kya hai now what is the item on credit side so that is the way in which you will approach your accounting entries